This is Prince Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing love. I want to talk to you today about healing from a stranger in your body. Beverly Mitchell of Douglasville, Georgia in the United States returned home after a vacation to Greece. Much to her surprise, she discovered that her house was not as she left it. When she entered the house, she could see that someone was redecorating. Carpet torn out, rooms repainted, photos on the wall of people she did not know, washing machine and dryer installed that she did not buy, a dog she did not own, a woman wearing her clothes she did not know, and the electrical utilities had been changed to the name of another person. This is a strange thing to happen. Another person you do not know taking over your house. However, this is why many people are sick physically as well as mentally. Another being has taken over their house, taken over their body or their mind. That other being is a spirit of affliction, a demon spirit sent by Satan to oppress with the end result of illness, disease, or breakdown. Remember Yeshua taught, the thief, Satan, comes only to steal, kill, and to destroy. But the good news is, Yeshua came that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Some people are bound by a demon spirit of infirmity. There was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years, and she was bent over and could not in any way straighten herself up. When Yeshua saw her, he called her and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and immediately she stood up straight and glorified God. You can read about that in the Brit Hadashah in Luke chapter 13, verse 11 to 13. And you might also want to check out Mark 9, 25 and Matthew 8, 16. You can cast out the demon spirits with the name of Yeshua or the name of Jesus. Yeshua said, These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. Speak to the demon spirits and command them to leave. The Bible tells us that the 70 that the Lord had sent out returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. First bind Satan in the name of Yeshua or the name of Jesus, and then cast out the demons. Yeshua said, If I by the Spirit of God, or Ruach Elohim, cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. How can one enter into the house of the strong man and plunder his goods unless he first bind the strong man? Then he will plunder his house. But no one can enter into the house of the strong man to plunder unless he first binds the strong man, and then he will plunder his house. Ask Yeshua to be your Lord. Then use his name to cast out demons. Yeshua taught us, Whatever things you will bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever things you will loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. You can read that in the book of Matthew, or Matthew chapter 18, verse 18, in the Brit Hadashah. You do not have to take sickness, or disease, or pain. We read in the Bible that when evening came, they brought to Yeshua many people who were possessed with demons. He cast out the spirits with the word, and healed all who were sick so that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. The name Yeshua is above the names sickness, disease, and pain. Use his name in faith and cast out the strangers in the house. Therefore God has highly exalted him and given to him Hashem, the name which is above every name, that at the name of Yeshua, every knee should bow of those in heaven, those on earth, and those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yeshua HaMashiach is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai. This has been Prince Hanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, Ruach HaKodesh, miracle-working love.